afternoon viewers uh check what we're doing here welcome back for another panda chat and i'll have a banter or a well you're gonna see it on a friday afternoon so here we go again leaving work it's like deja vu eh? same shit different day <laughs> it's about bloody right so since you've seen this part of the road a million times we'll catch you up later on and we'll come back to you all right so we'll see you in a bit so folks that's us back we're early coming to the exit on the motorway oh so what can we talk about um all right I'll, first of all i took a couple of photos this morning because you can see the alps from the airport so if they're any good i'll slip them in and you can see them over uh the open stands of golf at the airport look i look quite nice actually talking of golf fucking hell here we go again here we go again i caught a tail end of a story i think it was on youtube or something yesterday because i was setting up my tally with a vpn so i can get english tally proper and um oh you, you kind of make this shit up you just fucking can it hang on oh i'll get in that gear oh. why was i saying oh i kind of make this shite up fucking golf tournament i'm sure it was in the states now the i'm sure it said that the winner will be accepted into a special event for helping women progress progress in golf right where's this fucking van going you gotta watch these fucking fuckers you don't they never know what they're doing around about so what was i saying oh i so I'm sure it was a it was a, a tournament to help women in golf, or the prize was to enter something to help women in golf, something like that. Anyway, you never guess who fucking won it. Some fucking bloke in a dress. I'm telling you. Hi there. I can't understand women. Why are they not refusing to play with these fuckers? Because obviously this bloke in the fucking dress, he can whack a golf ball a fucking million miles further than any any last can, you know. They haven't got a cat and else chance. Why are they not standing up and saying, hey, we're not playing with these fuckers? Eh? It beggars belief. And obviously he's got the added advantage on his swing because when he's swinging the cricket bat obviously he's cocking balls are swinging his wheels so he's got more of a swing <laughs> huh? oh, i'm telling you then we'll get on the next bit of chat again from youtube ah. i didn't know if anybody's seen this because it's, it's getting a right show now on youtube Brendan Kavanagh, I think his name is. He goes by the name of Dr. K. He plays the planet, the, the piano in public, you know, the public pianos in the train stations and that. And I mean, he was playing in St. Pancras. I'm sure it's St. Pancras. <coughs> and there was some Chinese behind him. Chinese that with a camera and a, doing a TV, I think, and waving the little Chinese flags. And they were enjoying his a bit of music in the Kamawa. And he, uh, Brendan was doing a, a live, live feed on his YouTube channel. I think he had about 700 folk watching at the time. And these fucking Chinese Kamawa. Hey, we don't want our face on uh, your YouTube, on your uh, camera. He said, hey, you're in fucking England, no. You're not in fucking China. I'm in a public space, I can do what I want. 
if you don't want to be in my camera and in my video bugger off obviously he didn't say those words you know he said go away he said anyway what you got there what um, flags you're waving the Chinese flags communist flags eh and this fucking Chinese bloke hey that's racist it's now to the fucking sort he's stating fucking facts he had a Chinese flag which is communist he says are you communist oh that's racist and there was a lass standing there a couple of lasses and this lass and this Brendan bloke sticks his hand out or something he must have touched her hand or some fucking thing about the flag touched her hand or, and this bloke guns don't touch her don't touch her you're not her age don't touch her shouting at the top of his voice he's looking he didn't get a fucking smack oh he went off and one don't touch her don't touch her don't touch her what the fuck's he on don't touch her don't touch her don't touch her what's your name what's your name don't touch her don't hey there's Brendan the blocks hey man you're in fucking free England free Britain you're not in communist China now you know shut your yap and this fucking Chinese bloke called the fucking coppers and you know you, you could kind of guess what was going to happen typical fucking Britain I'm telling you the country's fucking arse about tit you know and this two coppers come by they looked a right bright pair if you you got to watch this on YouTube they looked a right bright pair I tell you not one brain cell between them you know they couldn't fucking stir a pot noodle anyway the the female cop that comes across you know Billy Butchness and she's trying to lay down the law and he's just breath luckily Brendan had a, a set of balls and he didn't take no shit from her because she's babbling crap and babbling oh there's been an accusation I don't want you on cam I don't want me on camera yeah but you're recording fucking him she had the camera on her fucking chest I tell you, you couldn't make it up and she's babbling shite and he's telling her look it's a public place I can film what I want go and tell the, the Chinese to bugger off and she's not you don't tell me what I'm gonna tell them which is fair enough but in the end tell them to bugger off and I think in the end she got the message because she buggered off from him and in the end the Chinese left and the cop has left and he got back to his piano for a little bit you think what the fuck is going on with my country and when you think about it as well when you think about it we're away bombing uh, where is it is it Yemen or somewhere because of these uh, fuckers are attacking the ships it's going down the stray or the ships is it from the Suez Canal coming down through the Red Sea I'm not sure I can't remember where it is but we've joined the Americans and get, trying to give them a slapping but we're not doing nothing about these fuckers coming across the channel in the fucking dinghies are we eh and you've got the fucking lords in Parliament who've rejected the Rwanda plan is Rwanda a safe country the fuckers have already come all the way through fucking Europe which is supposed to be all safe countries <clears throat> camp and rough in fucking France France must be a pretty shit place if they want to come to fucking England I'm telling you camp and rough jumping in a rubber fucking dinghy coming across the English Channel uh, and the fuckers are rejecting the fucking Rwanda bill to say is Rwanda safe and all <laughs> you, you cannot make this shit up you just fucking can it I, I tell you you want to fucking scrap the fucking lords at least the House of Commons got it through eventually with some Nambi Bambi soft what the fuck eh and you've got the fucking asylum seekers complaining because there's a barge somewhere uh, I'm not can't remember where it fucking is you can google this and the fuckers are mourning that it's not fucking up to scratch remember there are fucking asylum seekers 
Oh yeah, tell it. My country, yeah, you, you kind of who the fuck is running it? Run by fucking lefties and fucking fucking wokes. You know, I wasn't. I'm trying to cut down swearing in my videos, but fucking hell, oh, I'm telling you, huh? You, you kind of make this shit up. Oh, by the way, we crossed the border. We're in Germany now. I was gonna describe the border and the bridge, but I forgot about it. I got into a rant. I'm telling you, you just kind of make this shit up, eh? You know, if we had a, a decent party, but in the end, it's either going to be the Tories or fucking Labour that gets in. Eh? We need somebody with a set of balls. And that can be a woman either. And I don't mean one of these new women with a cock. I mean a proper woman. Even if I dare say Margaret Thatcher, at least she fucking stood up. Eh? I'm telling you. So anyway, we're gonna. Uh, oh, I, and I've bitten the bullet. I've booked the car in to get the clutch done because by God, it's changing gear is rough, and putting it in reverse. When the car stood a long time. It goes into reverse, no problem. But when you've been driving and you come to reverse it in the park, my God, there's mad grinding going on and two puffs knocking the shit out of each other from grinder. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> and changing gear, if you change gear slowly and softly, it's not so bad. But when you're like in a rush or trying to force it through, <coughs> it's not very smooth because when you stop the car and use the changing gear obviously it's just it guns and they worry so it has to be the clutch and one person's one garage has already told me it's the clutch so the French Speedy in St. Louis they quoted fucking I'll get in as we talk about it they quoted uh, 818 euros to change the clutch I sent two garages in Germany for quotations only one bothered to answer so they quoted 880 so I'm gonna go to France let them have a shot at trying it and fixing it so we'll get a new clutch fit fitted I think that's on February the 8th so it's a whack of cash, whack of cash that I haven't got, so and oh yeah fucking depressing news now. I got a, a email from uh, the lawyer yesterday and he tells me that the the divorce papers are in the middle of the court proceeding now. You know, so it's going through the court now. And you know, I felt sad. It was quite sad that it's all come down to fucking this. But hey ho. What can you say? Stranger, I felt sad after I read that. And I felt sad all morning the day as well. But anyway, well, there was some uh, nice uh, lasses that worked, cheered us up, having a bit of a banter. So that was our eat. Aye. So that's what the weather's been weird, man. We've had about four or five days where it's been down to minus nine and ten. Uh, and yesterday it was pissed down all day. And today it's been windy. And um, it's been quite warm. Quite, I quite like a windy day, you know? It kind of clears the cobwebs. It's not so bad. So. We're gonna head up to um, Lidl. Need some bread. And I get some, um, oh, what the fucking hell do you call it, man? Smoothies. The smoothies and the Lidl's are quite canny. I think this road's still fucking closed, is it? I'm sure it is. We'll go on this way. I'm sure it's closed all week. I've got to go on through um, Offlingham. You look at the fucking junction and that was a stop stop but even so 
And down here, I'll show you. Oh, it's a stupid fucking road this is, man. Weaving in and out. Ay, 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 ay. Look at the miserable fucking faces. Couldn't crack a smile or a fucking wave and out to say thank you for stopping. You see this pile of bricks down here? A pile of rubble, rather. This was a muckle big uh, brothel. A few, when I first came to Germany, it was still an operation. I say it was a right, a right line of roads. A right line of roads, for fuck's sake. A right line of brothels along that road following the border. I think, if I remember rightly, it was what, on this side of it, there's what, one, two, three, four, including this one. And there was more when you get past the bad sack and heading up the Wildshut. I don't know if that was to service the Swiss client, because obviously the German price for a shag would be cheaper. Aye, so, but they're all closed now. <coughs> One's been remade in, or two's been made into houses. And um, another one's been made into a, a Spielhal, which is like, um, you know, slot machines and all that kind of shite. Yeah, so there you go. Name uh, brothels down here. I wonder why they're closed. Must have been a new law passed or something. Some of them were just in residential. Yeah, nice hassles. Mind if they were nosy neighbours. Hey, keep it an eye. It was gone for a shag. Straight on the phone. Hey, Doris, I've just seen your gym. It's just popped up the stairs next door. You wait to get these fucking bollocks emptied. <laughs> you can imagine, eh? Aye, so this little town here is Offlingham. Canny like, it's canny little tune. Ay, ay, ay. So me lights come back on again, or actually, since you saw the last video last Friday, my dashboard has been clear of lights and now it's back on again. It came back on a couple of days ago. I think it'll probably go off tomorrow. But I've just been uh, sitting on the motorway at 90. Nay hassles. Look at lights fla flashing on and off like a fucking Christmas tree. But if the speedy places are right, actually saying that, I wonder. I wonder if I've got the cojones to fucking uh, change the turbo myself. Because we've got a hobby garage not far away from us, which means you can rent the um, um, ramps, you know. And I've seen one video on YouTube where he's ripping the whole front of the fucking car off to change the turbo. And surely you don't have to rip the fucking bumper and the, and the radiator out to change the turbo, going up underneath. So I could rent the, the, um, rent the ramp so I can stand rather than lying on my back. Better standing up to do it, I think. When well, you get a crick in your neck. I wonder if lying down would be viable. You know, I've bought oil and um, oil filter and uh, fuel filter. When I change the oil, I'll have a look, see if it, how accessible it is underneath. Maybe I could do it lying down, because obviously then if I do it in my own garage, there's no rush. And do it when it's, when it's a bit warmer. And if I didn't get it finished, either oh, road's still blocked. If I didn't get it finished, I can um, take the bike to work, you know? That's maybe the plan. I wonder if I could change the turbo. Surely there can't be that much is bolted on and off, surely. Hmm? Anybody now out about it? Give us a shout in the old, um, what the fuck do you call them? Comments, aye, in the comments. The old panda chat doesn't seem to be going down very well, viewers, eh? <laughs> the last one, I think in about three or four days, only had about 19 views. At least somebody's watching it, they like the bit of banter, a bit of crack. They haven't taken our seriously. It's 
just a bit of crack. Oh, and I tell you, I've, I'll tell you about this bloke before on uh, YouTube again, who has the electric Porsche. Uh, I can't remember his fucking name. Mac, Mac something. He will go through. We'll go through the tune. I'll we'll show you the tune. So diesel. The minute is one seventy one, a liter. I don't know how that compares to anybody else's watching. Oh, it's uh, euros, by the way. One seventy one a litre for euros. And petrol, one seventy nine for the lower grade of petrol. E ten, E five. Aye, it was a weird time. Oh, this bloke with the fucking electric car. He's been pricing the valuation of his car. Fucking hell. You wouldn't believe the prices. Eh? Now then, if I remember rightly, if I've got it wrong, go on his channel and you'll see it. Because it was a video from two days ago, I think. Now he bought the car for a this fucking electric Porsche, 120,000 pounds. Now he pays it monthly, he's got it on a tick. I'm sure, I, I can't, he can't be paying that amount. I'm sure he said he was paying 1,200 pounds a month for it. Can't be paying 1,200 pounds a month, surely. Who the fuck pays that amount for a fucking car? Anyway, the valuation, I think he said it was two years old. Now a Porsche garage has offered him about um, 44, I think, pounds. Eh? 44, not 44 singular pounds, 44,000 in an exchange, as in part X. And he's tried a few places like uh, webuyanycars.com. They offered quite a reasonable price. I'm sure it was still in the 40s. Could be wrong, but I'm not. I'm sure it was still in the 40s. But he tried a couple of other places as well, similar things like we buy any car, and one of them offered him 20. I was at 20s. It was sure it was 26, 26,000, 120,000 pound Vogan Porsche. What the fuck, eh? Unbelievable, eh? <laughs> so obviously he didn't fucking take it, did he? Stay there, smart car. So we're going up the, we're going up the Hauptstrasse, the main Strasse in the town. You see, they've got the, uh, what do you call it? Out, God, what the hell? Is it? The button on the street for the. Because it's all this carnival times to we to uh, say goodbye to winter. It's quite good, like mind you, when they do it, because I have bands coming down the street and everybody's dressed as monsters and stuff. And the music, you know, the German thumper bands, fucking echoes down the street. You know, the fucking pavement shakes. The fucking brain seven bells is shite out the drums. It's good, like. But you got they're chucking sweets at you, and you got to be careful. You got a fucking one of these boiled sweets bouncing off your fucking forehead. Yeah. <clears throat> so it's quite canny. You see, everything's closed at the moment. It's Wednesday as well. It's half day on Wednesday, so some things won't reopen. Some things will. So we've got the new uh, little on our right down here. There's a new little Muller Schmitz market, which is an Ed cat. And what else is there? Oh, that's it. And a nice cafe in the Edgar as well. So, folks, that's us. We're coming to the end of the old vid. I hope you like it. Remember, don't take things too seriously. Yeah, we're just having a crack. Okay, viewers, I will bid you an Avisian and Aravadurchi as Aravoir. Oh, is it 
the gear there just so goodbye folks and i wish you a good week ahead take care now bye